there's a lot more people on I mean, besides Sylvester Stallone, who else is <laughs> Robert Kennedy Jr.? Oh, really? Yeah, he's on it. So, yeah, he does seem like he's he's really fit, he's impressively fit. He's 69, yeah. Yeah, he works out every day. Goes to Gold's Gym in Venice. Works out with jeans on. Is that why he talks like this? No. He talks like that because of an illness. Oh, yeah, so I shouldn't make light of it. Yeah, look at him. Yeah. He's buff. That's crazy. He's, oh my God. 69 out there doing push-ups and shit with jeans on. I don't know why the jeans on. That seems calculated. Seems like they would get in the way. I think it's a youth thing. Yeah? Where the jeans? I would never look at him and think he's 69. He's in great shape. Right? But he also takes very good care of himself. Eats right. How important is the plunge pool? Or is that just a trend? Is that Zumba for today? No. It's real. It yeah. it has, without a doubt, it has great physiological and mental benefits. I do it every day. Wow. It sucks. Today was hard. Because I was hard. up late last night, hanging out at the club, got yeah. home, the alarm clock went off, and I'm like, Fuck. I and just, is it's like in a room? No, it's outside, which is nice because it's hot out. So at least I got some sun on my face while my body's freezing. And it is just—it's hard. It's and how long are you in there? Three minutes. And but you get out and you're like, this is amazing. You get out and immediately you get this rush of endorphins, this rush of yeah. norepinephrine and dopamine, and it lasts for hours. They is say it's it, a 200% 200 increase in dopamine that lasts for four to six hours. And it's not just like your body saying, thank you for getting her out of there. <laughs> it's, uh, that probably has something to do with it. Yeah. Um, it's cold shock proteins. It's your body responding to this imminent threat of death. So it produces these anti-inflammatory proteins. Oh, wow. It's really good for you. And, and not just in, it's great for your endocrine system. It increases your testosterone when you do that and then work out. Right. There's studies that show that. But it's great for your mental health. Your, your mental, like a lot of people that have anxiety and suffer from depression, they've gotten off meds because they've started doing daily cold plunges. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I would totally be open as long as it wasn't cold. Yeah. It's a fucking struggle, man. But you know, but it's, it's only three minutes. The thing yeah. is, it's like three minutes passes in normal time so easy. When you're comfortable right now, like we can go through three minutes and it's nothing. You just got to just go through it. Just go through the three minutes. It's only three minutes. It sucks. But while it sucks, you just deal with it. You just breathe and deal with it. And then after three minutes, you get out and immediately you feel amazing. Like, wow. Like if there was a drug that you could take that gives you the feeling that you get right out of the cold plunge, it would be insanely popular. If there was like a mint that you could pop in your mouth that you get from yeah. the fucking gas station, everybody would be taking it. You know, all these kids are on vape pens because they get a little, ooh, they get a little lightheaded and get a little high. You would take that pill, the, the post-cold plunge pill, every day. You'd feel great. It would be great for everybody. Wow. But it's not a pill. It's a fucking arduous, difficult routine. It sucks. But it's wow. only three minutes. It's not that big a deal. Just get in there. Fuck, 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 fuck. Say fuck, you know, 360 times. <laughs> right. <laughs> take a bunch of breaths. And it's, and so, Yeah. Yeah. But then you, know, you got to get an ice maker. Sauna is great for you, too. <laughs> well, you don't have to get an ice maker. You yeah. get one of these machines that just keeps it cold all the time. Oh, wow. Yeah, they have these cold plunge machines. Like we have one here. It's called a Blue Cube. We have one at home. It's called a Morosco Forge. And it's 34 degrees. The water is just above freezing. You get in there and you just fucking suffer for three minutes and you feel great. Wow. All aches and pains and everything just sort of feels better. And so there. some of it Ooh. is physical and some yeah. of it is, you know, the physical that leads to mental, you know, so you feel, you know, because I'm sure that I speak for you also. It's like I feel mentally balanced after I do stand up. Mm -hmm. Like the it's not just a high. It's not a low. It's like if I'm really high before I do a set, I'm kind of even keel. If I'm kind of exhausted, it gives me a boost. There's. Mm -hmm. And so when I, you know, think about like uh, things that are like for mental health and, you know, for me, it sounds kind of corny, but I have, I, during the pandemic, I started gardening and it is amazing. It sounds, and I know I'm, you know, trying to, people are like, my grandma gardens, but it is, I mean, some of it is I wanted to be a farmer, I, you know, when I was in eighth grade, but like. 
the farmers are happy. Like there's something about their about the meditative nature. There's also you plant something and you come out and there's you sometimes there's a huge amount of peppers. It's like Christmas morning and sometimes mm-hmm. it's a disaster, but it's it's amazing. It's a complicated task. Yeah. It's interesting. Yeah. It 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 engages you. And it's yeah. And there is something about because I see the you know that the happiest people are farmers, and I'm like that makes perfect sense. Oh, uh, is that real? The I happiest think so. people are farmers. I would imagine that providing people with food also feels good. Being a provider and just the the whole I think there's probably like a genetic component to it. There's a long history of human beings farming. And so I think it, there's also like built in human reward systems based on certain behavior that you know leads to success and survival. And I would imagine that farming is on that list. Yeah. I think it's uh it's it's very it's just amazing. How... It's just cool anyway. You, know, you plant some seeds, you see the sprouts right? grow up. It's cool. It's amazing. I mean, yeah. just and all the different plants and what you do to help the plant. And mm-hmm. I mean, it's just insane. How it's a great way to get food, and it and it encourages you to eat healthier. Yeah, because yeah. if you grow something, you're like, we're going to eat this celery. And right. It's like, besides that time, I've never eaten <laughs> celery. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's also you know there's no pesticides on it, yeah. there's no herbicides. <clears throat> You're just getting organic vegetables. And then it's like this math puzzle where you sit there and you go, "All right, so you do the companion plants and you know this deters mm-hmm. this pest." And yeah. so all the answers are there. It's like we just kind of like I think even like celery as an example. Like there's no reason why someone like if you you can grow your own celery, you should never have to buy celery. Like if you chop it off and right. and come back, it'll grow back. Mm-hmm. So like the fact that like we go and buy a huge thing of celery is so foreign to like our great grandparents. Right. Like you would never buy celery. You could just easily grow it. My grandparents in New Jersey, my grandfather had a big garden in his backyard. This most of his backyard was fenced in and he was growing tomato plants and squash yeah. and zucchini and all these different things. And my grandmother always made tomato sauce from the tomatoes from my grandfather's garden and it was amazing. Yeah. Just the tomatoes themselves, those New Jersey beefsteak tomatoes, they were all yeah. organic and they, they were like a fruit. Yeah. It was so much different than the pale supermarket tomatoes yeah. that last for months on the shelf. And those oh. things are bastardized. It's crazy. I, 